Welcome to the map Brandy Hills in BFMU one on a patch 2.22 for a replay commentary in a great matchup between the green Isengard player Zimix and his opponent, the red Mordor player D7KK. Double Orc Pit technology versus Uruk Pit in a fairness. The Uruks were marching forward to this spot to get, capture the settlement and now they will go down to this spot over there which actually will be great for Mordor because he has only double orc pit and that's why he will heavily rely on the resource income from this lumber mill which will remain untouched for the next minute and a half and will give Mordor the money he needs because you don't need money for capturing I mean for recruiting units as your orcs are for free but the orcs can create a lot of momentum pressure on your opponent but also give you the chance to defend yourself and also creep the entire map um, in the meantime the orcs are committing to this furnace with the eye of sauron they will be able to take it down pretty easily but in exchange to that aizen is committing with a war chant and two uruk heart on the baradur itself and the fortress of mordor might go down and it looks like it will go down. He has double towers, yes. But it will not deny the destruction of the great Eye of Sauron. As the Baradur has been totally and completely destroyed. I mean, that's a lot of money you need to now reinvest into recapturing this. That's over a thousand you need to invest. Which Mordor just can't afford right now. But it's about to be changed very soon. As mentioned before, he has a couple of settlements under his control. This one is going to be protected with the help of the tower. But look at the beast from Aizen. He is not rich either, you know. Yes, he has a functional and, uh, you know, beautiful tower in his, in his castle. That's a tower more than what Mordor has to offer. But unlike Mordor though, he has no map control. Mordor has a couple of units. Again, he can ditch out units for free. And even though they are way weaker than Orc, uh, Uruks, I mean in uh, quantity has a quality of, of its own so he will now be able to rebuild this very very soon 629 and we will have to hear that over and over again these new horde orcs and Isengard want to finish what he started he want to go for the finishing move but can this be enough what he has to offer you need some berserkers to finish the job there comes the war chant but only of two of the uruks are healthy and he's gonna split them up a little bit if he can destroy one of the orc pits it would already be such a great thing to do but it's easier said than done with a lot of orcs and he was kind of feeling this creep away with the orc warriors but he was taking this creep over there he actually has still three lumber mills under his control, which will give him lots of wood bonus, making also the rebuild of the Baradur a bit cheaper. 960 now instead of 1200. And also this one is going to be defended with the Orcs. Now the Orcs level 2 will deal even greater amount of damage. And with their help you can also creep the troll layer by luring the troll away from its layer. And the level 2 Orc can destroy the layer actually quite quickly. The map is looking phenomenal, despite that the structure, the main heart and core of the Mordor castle has been taken down. But, you know, never give up, never surrender. Isengard is rebuilding himself. Something you can't do when you have no fortress. But he will have the money now to rebuild it. He has an empty, totally empty castle, which will remain kind of vulnerable for the next couple of minutes. Because every structure he will build now, every slaughterhouse he will build now, will need ages to hit level 2, will need ages to hit level 3, you know? They are outside of the range of the tower, so if the Isengard player doesn't pay attention, um, it might go down. But the build is, <laughs> you know, the build is repairing as the orcs are trying to destroy. Only three orc warriors are remaining, so they are barely dealing more damage than the repairing of this poor guy 24 hours a day, you know, seven days a week, working his off. We expanded the orc pit. So we need berserkers, that's what you need. Uh, the Uruk pit got to rank 2 super delete. Two power points collected for Mordor. He will go for the industry. Isengard has only one power point collected. 
And also it looks like we will be able to save this structure barely. It was close to Mordor, but not close enough. I think Mordor was creeping this with the Orc Warriors. And also this one was taken down. Mordor has a full base. He just rebuilt it. He went for the industry and he just built up four slaughterhouses houses in a second. Map control, the importance of it, as you can see in the example A. Oh, but he's bringing the troll to Eisen too? I like that one actually. He, he, made his, he swore allegiance to Mordor, to Sauron. Um, but also, Eisen will get power points for, for killing this troll, you know what I mean? Or maybe not. Finish him! Oh, he finished him, actually. He will get the power points now when he falls on the ground. Yes, sir. And with the power points, you can now go for the, for the industry. Um, went for the Lourdes. When the base was half empty, don't do this. Fill up your base first. You don't need to rush Lourdes. Because when you, when you get Lourdes, there is nothing to creep anymore. Anyway, beside this creep... I think that's going to be also the plan for Mordor, uh, for Aizen to go there. But, you know, it's very difficult for you to get the creep. Because you will not hit rank 3 after dealing with the troll. And then the orcs will potentially commit to the lair. So it will not make it easy for you. Orcs pressuring non-stop. Non-stop pressure on the beast. But now Aizen is towering up. Also this furnace is going to hit rank 3 very, very soon. And help from the industry. The more money you get from a structure, the faster it's gonna level up. Troll has been taken down, but like mentioned before, now Lourdes has to fight against countless amount of orcs for this lair, which will be very important for Aizen because it will unlock the level 3 carnage for Lourdes and also bring him a very important step closer to the level 5. He's holding the button! Oh, he took it actually. Mordor didn't pay attention to that, but all the money was going away. Look at the minimap, bro. This is like Blackgate mission, you know what I'm saying? Legit Black Gate mission. We have orcs everywhere. He has four orc pit technology. Four orc pit technology. He might go for the outpost and build even more orc pits. From zero to hero. Elsaron will be used. Full commitment. It's a difficult matchup when you fall behind as Aizen. And, uh, you know, I, I never was a big fan of destroying the, the Tita. When I play this matchup as Aizen. Because you will lose the whole map in exchange. And because of the map control your opponent will have under his control. He will be easily able to rebuild the structure you destroyed. So you think it's better to play it kind of smart and slow. And Aizen in the Super Rip game has actually the chance to win against Mordor. So Lords can be quite helpful. But Saruman is of course a very great and important asset to the Isengard army too. Berserkers can be quite helpful for the, for the mid game. But for that, you also need the Uruk Pit to hit level 2 a bit faster. This Uruk Pit got level 2 super delete. But it's not over yet. However, it's gonna be difficult. I mean, he has 3 Lumber Mills. Uh, terrible Orc Pit technology. The Berserkers, though, are dealing crazy amount of damage. You can see that's the importance of the Berserker. They are very important. Double Orc Pit from this outpost too. And the best part about the orcs is you don't mind about losing them. You just put rally point from the orc pits to any location you want. So they will get recruited. They will immediately move to the desired location. And then you don't need to even pay attention to them anymore. You know what I'm saying? And when you lose them, you will also get power points for that. Okay, he went for the devastation. You want to go for the witch king? Which can gonna be there very very soon for Mordor. He has 8,000 plus, but now eight of that will be invested into the king of the uh, of the man. The nine, you know? The nine Nazgûls. These were once mortal men. Look at the orcs. A new horde of orcs. What can men do against such reckless heat? Against such reckless seeds. Lord's level 4 though. I mean pretty close to level 5. Uh, but Aizen should be kind of starving. He's not that, that rich. Does he have rank 3 structures though? Because I think Mordor is planning to go inside the jeans. With the Witch King leadership he want to go inside the jeans. Does he have the banner? 
on the orcs? He doesn't. I would go for the banner. The orcs are marching. Oh my god. I mean, usually orcs are weak, uh, but uh, there are some circumstances, like in this one, in which they have like crazy amount of leadership, and they are not weak at all. And they're still dying all the time, but it's they are big crazy numbers they got. And they, they're gonna be able to destroy the Uruk Pit too. Oh my god. Crossbowman in the melee fight against orcs, not the best call. Does he have darkness? Um, he would have darkness, but he went for the for the devastation. Uh, rain is available for Zemix. He built up the Uruk Pit now behind the bees. This level three, um, you know, furnaces are gonna be super difficult to be taken down for the Mordor orcs. Because it has like 5,500 HP. But Darkness might change up a little bit. Darkness plus Witch King plus Eye of Sauron. That's a lot of damage leadership. Eisen has still the Slumber Mill under his control. So getting some sort of money. But unlike his opponent, he didn't go for the Devastation. Which he might, he maybe should. You know? Lourdes. I mean, there are just too many to kill. You will lose count, Lurtz. Not even Legolas can... Not even Legolas and Gimli. Gimli can kill all of that. It will take a lot of time. Heavy armor on the crossbowman. I would like to have the um, Uruk combination with them. So my Uruks... Ooh. Which king has to be careful, though? Does he have Screech? Oh my god, be careful, which king. If you lose him, you can revive him for free, but remember, it will just take you 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And that's a lot of time in RTS games. It will give you... Oh, the Witch King is recommitting? Oh, the... the what? The cripple to slay down the king. Now, you need to be careful with your, with your uh, lords. Don't put him into the enemy lines. The rain is active though. So that means the darkness or the eye of Sauron has no effect on this orcs. And if Lourdes is level 6, yeah he's level 6. That's even better. Because now when Lourdes is close to the, uh, to the crossbow man. You will also get money for killing all these orcs. You will not get a lot of money. But you will get consistent money for every orc you take down. Which is amazing. He went for the call the heart, by the way. So he's filling up the command points in a, in a second with the call the heart ability. And remember, he has multiple arc pits. He has multiple arc pits. And call, if you don't know, call the heart is also like a great counter uh, to the rain. Because the way the rain is working. Um, it's only affecting the army you, your enemy has currently on the field. Every unit that has been recruited after you press the rain button will have their leadership bonuses. So basically, you lose all your army during rain, and then you press the button, the call the heart, which will not only work on your orc pits, but also work on your Haradrim Palace, Troll Cage, Siege Works, and Mumma Kill Pan. So when you have enough resources, you can also recruit from three Mumma Kill Pans, uh, 10 Mumma Kills in about 5 seconds. But of course, you need the sustain in your eco to be able to do that. That's why most people will stick up to the Orc Pits, because it's the che cheapest way, you know? Lourdes has to be a bit closer, I think. You get plus 3 for killing them, but Lourdes has to get a bit closer to also give them more damage leadership. I want to see the next Call the Heart. He's going to go for the Devastation. Witch King almost pick up. Yeah, beautiful. You see plus 3 for each kill with the Lords being around them. He's also regenerating now up. Very soon back to full HP. 
I don't want to miss the next uh, Call the Heart. Oh, he went for Saruman. Now it's going to be quality versus quantity. Which is more powerful? I am 5,000 years old. I don't want to deal with this orc scum. But you have no other choice, bro. You have no other choice. Is he going to use the Call the Heart again? Uh, his command points kept, that's why he can't get more. He could le legit, like, with two, three Mumma Kill pens, you can get, like, I don't know, like, eight, nine Mumma Kills in about five seconds, you know? But of course, command points are your raid boss. It's super difficult. Oh my god, be careful! Land has been used? Did he steal him? No, 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 no! He couldn't steal him. Kill him, bro. Nice. He finally killed him. But in the meantime, the orcs are committing. There is another Mumma kill. Witch King is also back on the field. Rain is still on cooldown for the next 20 seconds. So you need to hold. But oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The Mumma kill is a mean one, boys. Killed the master and his servant. I was always talking about Lourdes. I was saying Lourdes is such an amazing hero, but apparently all it takes to take him down is only one single Mumma kill. Oof. Big ouchie and call the heart technology. I like it. I really like it. Oh my god, he got stuck at the Baradur. Not Baradur, Orphank. He will fall down to the Goblin Town. But that is just much more where he comes from. That is just much more where he comes from, boys. Mm, I don't know, if he didn't lose the Lords and Saruman there, maybe he would have a chance, uh, chance because remember, you get, you, get, you get also much more money for killing Mumma kills, Nazgûl and Witch King with the Pillage. Yeah, I, the problem is, he's playing against 500 CP with only 150 CP, you know? Ooh, but the Witch King is gonna fall for no reason. So imagine you can also get uh, like almost 20 battalions of crossbowmen. With 500 available command points. So you can also have like, like a huge army. You can have 10 battalions of them with your Lourdes and Saruman uh, going for a push. And 6, 7 battalions in your base for defense. So. Ooh, he's gonna fall. Yeah, he's gonna fall. But Mumma kills are coming too. Cold Heart has been reused. But again, command points are big problem for him. That's why they can't get out. Maybe you need to, when you have this much money, maybe you can also uh, demolish the orc pits and go for the troll cage or mumma kill pen. So next time when you use the call the heart, you basically get like six, seven mumma kills on the field at the same time and go for a big push, you know? Lords back on the field, that's great. Put Lords back uh, next to the crossbow man. And then you get money for killing all of these, that's great. 15 power points versus 17. So oh, losing all these orcs and them dealing damage to the buildings, to the structures, to the heroes, to the units will also get you lots of power points. And uh, the map control is undisputed under control of Mordor. He's controlling the whole map. It looks like he want to go for the outpost. I think he, he wants to finish him off. The Muma is going to get burned in a second. The damage it takes from the crossbowmen with war chant and lord's leadership is just insane. But in the meantime, the beast invasion of the orcs. He has some units recovering uh, slowly but surely over time. He want to destroy the outpost to make sure that he doesn't need to deal with Mumma kills anytime soon. More Mumma, ki more Mumma kills? He didn't have the money to revive his Saruman though. I mean, Isengard is not rich. That's for sure. 17 power points for Mordor and 19 power points for Aizen. Remember, he lost his heroes 
Both Nazgûls and Witch King have been taken down. I think with the Balrog, he wants to be finishing this Mordor. Can he do this? Um, you want to take down this outpost first, and then you want to use your Balrog in an offensive way at the enemy castle, and then sport the Balrog with a couple of your crossbowmen. It's not going to be easy, but it's doable. Over here, over there is an Nazgul. Oof, the damage is something, bro. With the Lord's leadership, I'm telling you. The damage is something. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five battalions of them. There comes the Balrog from the Isengard player. He want to commit. Mordor has not the Balrog just yet, but he's also incredible close to that. It looks like the Witch King and the other Nazgul won't make it out from the Baradur back to the field. Yeah, he, he was reviving them in the main castle, so he's re-reviving them now at the outpost. Going for the for the oh, call the heart again. There is a Mumma kill. There is another Mumma kill. The Mumma kill is gonna burn. He's paying attention, of course, to the to the Balrog. Balrog is gonna reignite himself. And there is also a Balrog now from the from the Mordor player. He's gonna go inside the base of Aizen. Ooh. But the damage is something else, bro. Crossbowmen are hitting like an absolute track. There comes the breath fire from the Balrog. A beautiful breath fire. Of course, can't one shot the production building level 3, but that doesn't mean he can't finish it with a attack of his ignited sword full of flames. Oof, the Balrog. Um, I like the idea what he, what he had though, but you need some sort of follow-up. Too many orcs, bro. The second you deal with them, there are gonna be more to come. That's why you need some sort of fast killing abilities, like Blast from Saruman, maybe even Warc Riders for later on. Mordor's Eco in the lead game is gonna be super unmatched. Industry, Devastation and also Scavenger will make you, you know, ultra rich. The outpost will be taken down from Aizen. And he has 10,000. And you have only a 1,000. You can barely rebuild your castle citadel, the Orphank. He couldn't even, you know, get his Saruman back on the field. Just too many orcs. Too many, too many, too many horde of orcs. What can one Uruk do? He's like, I'm out of here, bro. What am, I, what am I fighting against? Countless. Run. Luckily, I'm fast. That's my own, uh, you know, only specialty compared to the orcs. I wish I had this many Uruk friends like my orc opponents. Use Carnage. He can't. It's not available yet, but it's going to be available very, very soon. He's going to use Carnage now. Going for the for the Mordor Tita. It's going to go down. But Aizen is broke, bro. That's the problem. He's just broke. He was also going for the Devastation before. He's going to fill up the bees. He's going to try to fight until the very end. But the end is for sure super, super near. The Nazgul is back on the field. Witch King is back on the field. And also another Nazgul is going to be there. We have the Mordor Airlines back to the battlefield on the map Brandy Hills. What can the Uruk hero do all alone against two Nazguls and the Witch King himself? Absolutely nothing. That's the, that's the answer. Poor guy. You fool. <laughs> no Uru can kill me. I mean, this Uru uh, crossbowman level 6 with Lord Sideshiv are still hitting like a truck. Don't get me wrong. But look at their damage, dude, when they get the chance to shoot. Look at their damage, bro. The Nazgul was full HP, by the way. Full HP Nazgul. Does Aizen have money? Um, the answer to this question is no, he does not. He just does not.
Plus 3 is just not enough, you know? From a battalion you get 30. And maybe he killed, what, 150 battalions in this game? So he potentially got around about 5,000 from the outlaw leadership, from the pillage ability from Lourdes, by just killing orcs. But of course, it depends on the unit you kill. However, you know, there is not much more to kill beside orcs. That's the problem. Even though Balrog is very important and strong, um, if you use a summon defensively, it will most likely make you lose. He's gonna reuse the devastation again. He's filling up the beast, going for the towers, but his beast is super weak. Only level one furnaces with 2.5k health. He's gonna go for the, for the Balrog. Balrog will be summoned offensively next to the Mumma kills. He's gonna fly in, taking down the Baradur, Mordor against Balrog of Morgoth. Oof, it's going down in a second. But there is gonna be another Balrog very soon. He's gonna use the Breath Fire on the production buildings, taking down both the Mumakir's pen. Go down, but there comes the Balrog from Mordor. What you get, what you got, I got too. Oof, what a fine landing. The King's landing. Lords against Balrog. But Balrog has to just walk over him, bro. Oh, actually, Lourdes dealt great amount of damage to the Balrog. Lourdes is the best hero in the game. He does, he's not afraid, bro. He's just... He should be. He should be. But he was not. What is this game? I mean, of course, he was not able to finish the beast off. It's, uh, you know, not... It's, I, I, I don't want to say it's impossible because it's possible, I think. But it's ultra difficult to finish the castle of Mordor Horizon with a Balrog summon. GG well played. I like to call the hard technology. You know, you lose army, you regain army with the click of one button. The call the heart is your friend. If you enjoyed this game, you know, and you want to see more content on this channel, make sure to leave a like to this video. And also subscribe to, to, to not miss the upcoming videos. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always... Stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.